Tonight it's supposed to be clear, according to the weatherman. So I thought it would be a good good time to um, give you a tour of the observatory, do a quick rundown of my equipment. Uh, usually I leave them out here under these um, Telegizmo 365 covers. Um, I only bring the stuff in if there's going to be an extended period of severe weather. I can't tell you the last time I had to do polar alignment. Now let's take a quick look around here. So I actually have very good skies. Let's see, this is uh, west going south. And uh, north is where I've got some obstruction. My neighbor's house, my house. Polaris actually is just about up there, right in the center of the sky there. So let me get these uncovered and uh, we'll take a look at them. All right, so here's rig one. And uh, you can see that's a Skywatcher EQ6R Pro on there with an 8 inch Celestron Edge HD. I keep the finder scope on there just for those times where I'm using the scope for uh, visual or planetary. So what you're seeing there right over here, that's my uh, Celestron reducer. I've got everything covered up in gaffer's tape uh, because I had a light leak in there and after trying to track it down, I just decided to tape up all the possibilities and that took care of my light leak. Uh, so anyway, this is just the, the uh, T extension adapter that comes with the scope. And uh, I have here, underneath all this tape, which I think is where the leak was coming from, is the ZWO off-axis guider. And uh, there's my 178 mono. A uh, bit unusual to see a cooled camera as a, uh, as a guide cam. Uh, I originally planned to use an ASI 224, uh, but I found the sensor was too small, and I had this sitting on the shelf being unused, and it works, and it works really well. Uh, I intend to get either a regular non-cooled 178 or maybe get a 174 to future-proof myself a bit, but this has been working so well that I've just not been motivated to do anything about it. Uh, I don't have the cooler plugged in when I use it as a guide guide camera, so not a big deal, really. And there's my 294. Alright, so I came around to the other side. We got the 8 position ZWO filter wheel and also a piece of tape on there for a suspected light leak source over by where the motor's at. I'm using one and a quarter inch filters, the mounted filters, and the the entire filter wheel is full of astronomic. So LRGB or the deep sky. Actually, the luminance is the L3 variant. Uh, I went with the L3 because the uh, reducer for the edge has a reputation for some color correction issues, and the L3 I went with to see if it could help with that. And uh, the narrow band filters are 6 nanometer HA03 and uh, sulfur. And for autofocus, I am using a, the Celestron focus motor. Uh, an inexpens inexpensive option. I think these were only like 200 bucks. And uh, it's worked out pretty well. Alright, now here's a uh, rig 2, also on an EQ6R. You'll notice that. Uh, this one I don't, you have the tripod, I'm using a uh, pier. So the issue, and why this is, is that um, my first EQ6R actually had problems with it. I sent it back to Skywatcher, and they ultimately ended up replacing that head. And um, I got a shipping notification from them, but it had the wrong address. So I notified them quickly, and they sent out a second one with the correct address. Uh, but amazingly, um, uh, the the first one with the wrong address found its way here anyway. UPS um, went the extra mile, literally, on that one. So with 
uh, two of them here, I decided to purchase this one. Uh, the problem with that is that the um, tripod and counterweights are on a uh, year-long backlog. So I will get one eventually. I paid for it, but in the meantime, I needed something to mount this uh, second EQ6 on, and one of my friends from my local club gave me this uh, pier that wasn't being used. So I had a uh, machine shop, local machine shop, weld a uh, plate on there, and I picked up the pier adapter from Starzona for the EQ6, and I got my AVX counterweight on there, uh, and that's enough for everything. So we got the um, Stellar View SV70T, little 70 millimeter refractor. Uh, they no, they, they no longer sell this one. Uh, it's uh, got a focal length of th 336 millimeters with the 0.8 reducer. You can see I got the ZWO uh, autofocuser on there, and we got a uh, five position mini filter wheel. Um, this was my first filter wheel, actually. And uh, this one, I have the L Extreme on there, and a luminance filter on there, and I have um, another set of astronomic narrowband filters. And so my plan is, this is a ASI 1600 that's on there, the monochrome, and uh, I plan to swap this one out with the ASI 533. So. Currently I'm doing uh, narrowband imaging and I got the 1600 on there. That's just a generic 50 millimeter guide scope and I'm using that ASI 224 uh, for the guide cam. So that about sums it up for my equipment. I really would like to get a um, Groloff roof observatory built here someday. Um, I just have to jump through some hoops to make that happen. So for the time being, we're just going to keep these guys under uh, covers. Hopefully it'll be clear. Uh, both scopes are pointing at two different targets, uh, but they're both targets in the Cygnus region. And uh, hopefully I'll have something to, uh, to share. Clear skies.